about as green as you're gonna get as yeah. far as clocks go. So <laughs> green clock. That's great. How long did it take to put up? Uh, they took um, uh, 42 minutes. And where was the clock made? So he made it down at a uh, uh, concrete detail. Okay. Oh, I remember you saying that. Okay. Right. He makes countertops and other various things. It was uh, cast um, just um, a week ago Monday. They cast it. This guy's the brains. And they took it out on Tuesday just to look at it, but then it had to cure until the weekend. Okay. And then he was away, so it wasn't until Monday that we got a chance to oh, okay. fix up the little yeah, I, I watch and, you know, those little things that need to be yep. fixed up so we need a little polishing up and that kind of stuff and, and we just lucked out that we had a good day today and we had he could come with the, what we needed and stick it up right up there we've been working on this or i've been working on this since okay, november okay, <laughs> is that when the, the the idea first occurred to you or when did that sort of first uh, form as a well i've talked to various people in the town for years about they needing needing a sundial. Yeah. I live right around the corner here and I've got sundials on my house. I, I was at the um, select board it's, it's meeting in February, maybe you saw that. Yep. Or, yeah. That was fun to meet with them and they were quite enthusiastic. I put a lot of these styles um, in different places. In fact I wrote a uh, a manual on how to do it, which is going all, all over the world actually by email. It's kind of fun because the sundial tells you something you don't get from your watch. Mm -hmm. It's different. And you don't have to do any kind of correcting or anything like that for daylight saving or any of that nonsense. So it just, and it's, it's kind of a, a neat, simple thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. That is so cool. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? That looks great. That looks really nice. It actually works. You, you did no the, batteries required. The concrete? I did. It's lovely. It's you are, really nice. I'm Barb Sunday. You're Barb. Hi. Okay, you you're the manager. manager. Yeah. Rich yeah. Holshue. Nice to meet you. Down at the cotton mill. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. yeah. Do concrete this is countertops great. normally, but uh, Mac approached me with this idea, this project, and I said, why not? It sounds like fun. You know, this resulted from the, the meeting that I had with um, mm -hmm. what's, uh, Chris. Chris, Brooke, right, yeah. Went over to meet with the, uh -huh. and one of the people there said, you've got to do this in something that's more durable uh -huh. than wood. And I said, well, we couldn't afford that. And right. The metal would be $50,000, and, and uh, the stone would be too uh -huh. heavy. And he said, I know just the guy who can do this. <laughs> that is really, well, I really like it. Bit. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah. It's easier from Department of Public Works. We just helped them. He okay. got it all together. And well, it's their we building. Gave my hand. <laughs> Her building. Okay. Her well, building. Her building, your staging. Group they, made, they fabricated the metal frame. Ah, that's, okay. That's holding And that's been up, up for a while. Yeah. It's been yeah. up for maybe three weeks. Yeah, something like that. As soon as that was up, we had a green light, you know, and then we could go ahead. We needed to know exactly where those studs were so that the holes would be in the right place. Ah, uh, okay. You know, two out of Four holes is not good enough. Yeah, <laughs> we could get any two, you know, probably. But <laughs> it does look good. Yeah, you did a nice job with that. So, how long did it take you to make it, design it? Mac did the design work. Okay. Um, and that, that was a matter of well, he has computer software that actually does the calibrations and laying it out on the on the formwork. Um, I did the formwork and mm -hmm. the casting. Um, Laying that out was a couple, three hour days, I guess. Getting it all laid out properly. And then actual casting only takes uh, an hour or so. And then some polishing and processing. So I couldn't really say how many hours are into it. Um, not all that much. But um, it's picky, picky work. You gotta yeah. take your time and do it right. Yeah. You only get one try. It's concrete. And once it's set, it's set. Mm -hmm. And you don't want your letters floating off on you because this is all formed in the mold. The most difficult part is that it's all done upside down and backwards. Uh, Everything's spelled backwards. So it's almost lines. like an old printing press, you know. Exactly. Where you kinda, 
exactly. plan it all out so you're printing on you concrete keep, instead of paper. Yes, you got to keep your wits about you at all times and keep your fingers crossed and it came out beautiful. Yeah, proud of it. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Rick, what do you think of it? Well, you know, I'll have to, it'll have to grow on me as I monitor it over the weeks and see yeah. what, it, what it does. Well, I just asked him it's accurate year round, which is kind of neat. Well, You'd think that'd like be, it's kind of counterintuitive, but. It, well, it's, yeah, it's just, I mean, I looked at it for a few minutes and I realized, oh yeah, it doesn't matter because it's based on the sun behind us. When it sets, that little shadow's gonna get shorter and shorter till yeah. it's sunset. So it doesn't matter what time of year it is. It, oh, cool. I, all right, see, I'm getting yeah. it now. Yeah, it so took me a few minutes. Five and a half hours till sunset. sunset. Is that so. what it, all right, I got it. About 7.30, <laughs> yeah. that's about right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, neat. That'll be fun. Yeah. The gnomon, which is the uh, shadow indicator, the um, dead square to the surface it's projecting onto, and that the length of that be calibrated to the location of the sundial, which is dependent on the building that it's hanging on. In this case, um, that has to be oriented to the sun. And then Mac figures that out where the highs and lows are in the winter and the summer determines the line locations and their lengths and um, it's totally site specific. We can make more of these but they would be made for the application, the installation. Just like the countertops that I make, totally customized. Right. Yeah. Great, well congratulations. Thanks. Thank you.